Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Welcome back. And you can't see it, but I'm just like, just striving to try to keep my head from shaking from side to side. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is like stuff that just, you, you just can't believe people would get excited about this. But some will, some will. How would you like to download your brain to a computer? Um, no, not me. I know, right? So here, this is Tech Times. This is an article out of Tech Times. Elon Musk defends Neuralink against a neuroscientist's concern of chips overheating. How would you like to have a chip put in your brain with the possibility that it could overheat and actually start to interfere with your brain, maybe even start cooking? <laughs> start cooking or melting with your brain? Yes, yep. Elon Musk was recently approached on Twitter by a neuroscientist with a couple of concerns about Neuralink brain chip. Temperature plays an important role in technology as overheating can signify the machines being overworked. And, you know, just going through this article, um, it just boggles my mind. It, you know, like when, when you l learn about the cerebral spinal fluid, the different layers, um, and you think about just going and inserting something in through there. I mean, granted, you know, people get brain operations. Yeah, my own brother was operated on um, when he was young, when he was five and he lived to 16 but you know once you cut in through uh the fascia and the different layers of fascia it's never the same and the same thing going up into the brain that's even scarier uh and and thinking about having something foreign in there and you know so this this particular neuroscientist uh amy eskridge is her name an engineer turned chemist who then later became a neuroscientist and now is working as a theoretical physicist. You know, she put some good things out there. Yeah, she sure did. Because, you know, I do feel that humanity is being sold on this whole transhumanistic idea. Like, if you go ahead and, and watch this, you know, it, it just is like glorifying it you know, you could be a superhuman. You could have superhuman vision, just like, you know, if you guys remember the bionic man, well, do you, would you do that? Would you do that? You know, it, would you? It's just crazy. No, most people are going to do it for egoic reasons. Definitely. And, you know, it even talks about downloading your brain into another body so you could be immortal, basically. Yes, it does. Now, you know, those of us who have been on the more spiritual path view this with horror, honestly. Well, yeah, because we look at our abilities as organic and we want to kind of grow them in an organic fashion, not putting a chip in your head. So this is this is what we're going to have, guys. We're going to have the branching off. You know, there's going to be two choices. Ultimately, are you going to be assimilated into this Borg? And so he, he describes this as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Do you want to be assimilated into this Borg? And, you know, that whole process is going to be beginning for many, many people next year. Yeah, and so many people will line up for this. Yeah, as we know, there's... You know, as I watch the snow coming down, which is beautiful. Um, and it gets Cindy so happy, too. She loves the snow. When we when we look at what's going on, like right now, the big news out there is that there is something out there with 90% efficiency. And everybody is thrilled and excited because perhaps, you know, the end of this period of lockdown as he's being very careful with words, um, will be over because there's a miracle, you know? Yeah. And I feel like this that, that miracle, along with things like this, it's just, it really is. It, it's just stepping down the road that's going to lead to the end of, well, the human race as we know it, if we are allowed to go down that road. Right, it is going to make people assimilate. I should say, if we choose to go down that road or allow ourselves to be herded you know down that road because it is kind of a herding going on a shepherding going on yeah and they're going to use thing um uh convenience as a mechanism to sell this i think 
Oh, sure. Yeah. And, and, and there'll be many people that just say, yeah, sure. Sign me up. You know, I don't have to, you know, get up. I could just simply think, turn the light on. I could just simply think, turn the TV on. I could just simply think, uh, go to YouTube. Okay. You know, let's see what, uh, suspicious observers has this morning going, you know, and, and boom, everything's going to go on on its own. I don't have to move a muscle. Right. Not one muscle. Yeah, there will be a lot of people that will go for this. And, you know, at the same time, you know, humanity is going to be going as well. It's going to be dissolving away. And, and think about that. You know, this technology in your mind, again, every thought you have will be read. I think already that's kind of happening now. We can see it. We were talking about the strange coincidences with the ads that we were just talking about. We didn't type anything into any sort of search bar. And poof, just because we had mentioned it, there were ads for that. We're going to have to test this again, you know, test this little theory out there. You guys might want to test it. If you got your phones out there or whatever, don't, don't say, hey, Siri, just simply say, hmm, I would like a vacation in Panama. And then just notice if you're all of a sudden getting a lot of ads that are having, you know, vacation packages to Panama. Yeah, so a lot of these things, a reading of the brainwaves and listening to us is already happening. And this is just going to boost it another step. You know, it, this this is terribly scary. They already have super soldiers. They already, you know, have leaked all that. And we saw these... Um, these mechanical dogs that were gigantic on a tractor trailer. Well, there was like six of them. They were the size of trucks. They were the size of trucks and they would actually, you know, be walking on legs like a gigantic robotic dog. I think what we're going to see in the, in the future is going to, you know, blow our minds away completely. And so I think we got to hope that there will be other people out there that are questioning all these things. And, um, you know, pushing back a little bit because there they go with a commercial. Let's see, it's going to be Panama. I'm going to get rid of it there. One of the other things I was going to say is, you remember like way, way back, if you guys have been around as long as, as I have, you know, you remember the Jetsons. And very disappointed to see like the year 2000 comes. We don't have any flying cars still. We don't have all this really cool technology um well now it's starting to leak out but did you ever wonder you know how could we have quote unquote gone to the moon so many years ago so many decades ago generations ago and then yet not have all this really cool technology around flying cars etc well this thing well it for one it's because it's buried and they're not showing us um this is interesting this is a virgin hyperloop completes its first ever passenger test. And what this thing sounds like to me, because, you know, this is on rails, it's magnetic, it's levitating. This sounds exactly like what we've heard that's inside the Earth that takes people from one deep underground military base to another. Yes, it's really cool. Yeah, so this is super cool. And, and I think this is finally, you know, you, you know going back to... We have companies like Virgin and, you know, people like Richard Branson and we have people like Elon Musk and others that, you know, are kind of like leaks, I think. You know, these these are the leaks to the real reality out there. And we are, um, if Cindy's going to be up for it, uh, we will do a video later on on last night, if she remembers, when we were channeling and remote viewing Mars and remote viewing Venus. And she was getting some pretty damn clear signals. I mean, she was seeing things really clear and uh, things are not as, as we're being sold at all. So the Virgin Hyperloop's been testing. This is in a Nevada desert and it's hit speeds of 240 miles an hour with no one on board. They do have a video here. You could check it out. They get up to about 107 miles an hour this couple in there um i would go in it this thing sounds really cool now this is technology i, I would i think is really neat ultimately they say you will be able to go from la to san fran in 30 minutes yes you know, over 700 miles an hour is, is the speeds they're anticipating 750 miles an hour 
So this thing is super cool um, and interesting. And if it is magnetic and it is clean, then I wouldn't have a problem with the technology like that. And maybe somebody will think of things that I haven't thought of. Um, but that sounds neat to me. It does sound neat and clean. And I love the technology idea of clean. As long as we're in harmony, yes. you know, um, that's, that's a big thing. And they say they have the first complete brain of a dinosaur. And to me, this looks just like basically a part of a brain if we're talking mammalian. But, you know, again, they're giving us this vision of dinosaurs as being very, very stupid. You know, just operating on base instincts. Yeah, right. But they found a perfectly preserved skeleton. And the first complete brain of a dinosaur has been unveiled by scientists, weighing less than a pea. It belonged to a meat eater that walked the earth 233 million years ago. So it's a ancestor of long neck sauropods, which, you know, some of those became the biggest of them all. Interesting stuff. And when you think about it, too, when you think about dinosaurs, what are we really talking about there? And it gets me thinking about experiment planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Yes, me too. (laughs) You know, and I've read uh, books years ago uh, that were postulating that if dinosaurs were around so long ago, you know, all these hundreds of millions of years ago and, you know, 200 and something million years ago and were left to evolve, you know, would they only be birds? I mean, is that, that all that we have left over? from these dinosaurs or is there any chance that something like a velociraptor could evolve into a a more intelligent being with a more complicated brain especially if perhaps there were experiments going on and there was a little you know hybrid (laughs) hybrid thing going on exactly so it's it's fascinating and interesting uh when we really think about it this little guy weighed about 14 pounds. And of course, you know, we had some that weighed hundreds and hundreds of tons. It, it's just amazing what's walked on this planet. Yeah, it sure is. It's incredible. I don't think we know what's walked on this planet in totality. I think if we knew the long list of things that had walked on this planet, I think it would make our knees weak. Well, I think we'd have a different outlook. Most definitely. As we know, the hidden history aspect of it. Mm-hmm. As always, guys, thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. God bless and namaste. Namaste.